Hey guys, Wayne Goss has come out with another eyeshadow palette. I am so, so excited to be trying this out with you guys. It is called the Smoky Quartz Palette, and this is the box packaging that it comes in. Very typical. If you have any of his other eyeshadow palettes, it will look very familiar to you. Here is this eyeshadow palette. Isn't it gorgeous? So it's the Smoky Quartz. It is laid out, or I should say it's the same size as all of his other eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is the fifth one in the line. And let me just go ahead and show you some swatches. So we've got basically four mattes. We have one uh, that's like a light satin, and then we have one that is a very shimmery uh, kind of top coat. So I just swatched from left to right, top to bottom. Really, really gorgeous. And when I first heard the name of this Smoky Quartz, I thought, or I immediately assumed it was gonna be very, very cool toned. I guess when I hear the word smoky, I think it's just gonna be grays and blacks. And I thought, okay, this will be really interesting, but I love, love, love what Wayne Goss has done with these tones. There's a little bit of red in here. These are all very neutral, but they're all soft. I do feel like grays and blacks, while they're very dramatic, they're very beautiful, they can be very, very stark and graphic looking on the eye. And I just love this kind of like soft smokiness. So I'm really excited to get this on my eyes. And with this Smoky Quartz palette, he's also released a brand new Essential Eye Cold Pencil. You guys know how much I love these eye cold pencils. I think they wear beautifully, they smudge out, they stay put, they set down for me. I just absolutely love them. So this new shade is called Granite, and here is a swatch of Granite. And what I love about this, much like what he did with this um, eyeshadow palette, is this shade, again, when I heard the word Granite, I thought immediately that it was just gonna be this like dark gray, like this very kind of cold looking gray. But if you look at this swatch, it looks like a really cool tone brown. Like there's just a hint of warmth to it. I feel like it makes this shade a little bit more sultry versus cold looking, and I just think it's gonna be a lot easier to wear than something that's just like, like a dark gray. So again, really excited to try this out with you guys. Okay, so before we get into the demo, let's just uh, go ahead and hold up this new Smoky Quartz palette next to uh, Wayne's previously released palette. So the first one he released is the Imperial Topaz, and here I have it on the left. The, smoky, the new Smoky Quartz is on the right. And you can see that while a lot of the shades in the Imperial Topaz are neutral, the overall palette is a little bit uh, warmer, a little bit warmer in tone, especially the bottom two shades on the left. Actually, all of the bottom shades are a little bit warmer. Um, and then we've got that black matte shade in there that really can uh, dramatize an eye look, if you will. So the Smoky Quartz is... Uh, there's less of a range in the shade, and I feel like they're a little bit more neutral than the Imperial Topaz. The next one he released was Pearl Moonstone. I think I'm doing these <laughs> in the right order. Yeah, I think Pearl Moonstone was the next one. Now, this is an incredibly cool-toned palette, and I think this was such like the perfect release after Imperial Topaz. Um, it's just uh, dramatic in a completely different way, but it's got that beautiful like satin baby pink in the upper left hand corner which just lightens and brightens the entire palette up uh, but you can see of course that it is a much cooler um, eyeshadow palette versus the smoky quartz next we have pearl and pearl um, i believe when wayne released this one this one is really kind of like a bridal um, eyeshadow palette. So again, we've got a beautiful pink in there, which always kind of softens up any palette, softens up any kind of eyeshadow look. And then all of the shades are really soft, like the shade in the upper left-hand corner. It's a little bit more of a light nude, light flush toned um, shade versus the one in the Smoky Quartz, which is going to be a little bit brighter. And the Smoky Quartz, compared to this Pearl uh, palette, is much more neutral. I think um, in the Pearl palette, we have uh, a few cooler tones and then we have a few warmer tones. So it kind of dances around being neutral, but it's not quite as neutral as the Smoky Quartz. And then the last eyeshadow palette that Wayne released is Tourmaline. And up until this point, Tourmaline was my favorite. Now I'm not sure, I don't know if Smoky Quartz is gonna take over, but I loved the shades in this palette. I really loved that um, light, uh, kind of, you know, again, we have like a pinky kind of tone in here, but it's a little bit more peachy. It's a little bit warmer than the pinks in the other palettes. And then we have a lot of like red wine toned colors, which are just 
gorgeous, especially when you pair it with like a beautiful taupe like we have on the top row. Uh, but anyway, this palette compared to the Smoky Quartz, I feel like is a little bit more dramatic. We have that kind of blackened wine shade in the upper right-hand corner of the Tourmaline palette. Um, and then the, the kind of metallic uh, shimmery shade in there is this like gold. So I just find this to be a little bit more dramatic. There's obviously a few more red-based shades in here. And again, the Smoky Quartz is a little bit more um, neutral. But when I take a look at these two palettes and knowing that uh, Tourmaline was my favorite up until this point, I really feel like the Smoky Quartz could take the place of that only because it seems a little bit more everyday and a little bit easier to wear. So anyway, I'm really excited to get this on my eyes. Let's go ahead and get started. I have all of my other makeup down aside from eyeshadow. So I'm going to start with my BK Beauty A503 brush. I'm going to go into this matte shade here and I'm going to start on the outer corner and just bring it through my socket line there. Okay, there is that uh, light taupe matte shade down. Uh, where do I go from here? I think I'm gonna go with this matte shade now and just sort of uh, start to build up some dimension. So I'm gonna use the A502 brush from BK Beauty and focus that right at the outer edge there. That's where I want it to look the darkest and the deepest. Next, I'm going to take my big Chikahoto eyeshadow brush here. It's like a big, fluffy, flat shader brush. And I'm going to go into this gorgeous taupey satin shade in the upper right-hand corner and brush this all over my lid. And I'm trying to do a light application of this. I don't know if this brush is the right one. I'm actually gonna go back to this um, A503 brush from BK Beauty and work the shadow out. Yes, this brush is a better call for the type of application I'm looking for, which is like a really light veil of this shadow. Next, I'm going to take my Sony G Worker 3 brush, go into the lightest shade here, and work that over the other shadows I have down. Put it just underneath my eyebrow here. Kind of soften up that transition a little bit. And I'm trying to make all of this look like a little bit of a smoother blend into one another. So I'm going back in with this 503, this big blender brush from BK Beauty. And I'm going into this light matte shade here, the one in the center. And just adding that on top of this shade that I had down all over my lid. Great, yes, I'm getting that really soft, smoky look that I'm going for. Um, okay, I am going to grab a pencil brush and go into this shade right here, and I'm just going to apply that to the uh, base of my lashes along my top, top lid here. So I think if I wanted just a really soft, smoky, daytime, office appropriate, I would stop right here. But I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this top coat shimmer. I think immediately you can go from like daytime to like an evening look. So I'm just going to use my finger, pick up some product, and just tap it all over my lid here. Ooh, so pretty. Look how bright that is. I fat fingered it. I just, yeah, I got my first finger down there. So this is not actual fallout. <laughs> This is me being very clumsy. Okay, so there is the top coat down. Oh, I do see a little bit of fallout here. Yeah, so there is a little bit of fallout with this shadow, at least my experience using it right now. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the new granite eyeliner and I'm going to apply it, my top waterline and my lower 
waterline. Do you see how easy it glides onto my waterline? So because this eyeliner is uh, a coal pencil versus like a gel pencil, it's one of those pencils that just smokes out really beautifully. You can apply it and then like brush it out with like a kind of like a dense smudger kind of brush, or you can pick up some product straight from the pencil with the brush and kind of work it into your lash line and smoke it out easily that way. So I'm going to try that right now, even though I have, I feel like a really nice kind of like smoky look, but if we just wanted to make it just a teensy bit more dramatic, we can go in with the pencil and kind of smoke out. So I'm gonna use the Sonia G Smudger One brush and I'm gonna pick up products straight from the pencil here. I'm just gonna brush it back and forth along the side of the pencil. And you can see that I, you can see I picked up a decent amount of product and I'm going to kind of apply it to the outer two-thirds of my eye. And there I'm just adding a little bit of drama. Can you see that in comparison to this eye? I'm going to do a little bit more. So I have this nice kind of like smokiness right here at the outer corner there. Ooh, I love that. So just a little bit more drama on this side. I'm gonna even it out and apply some over here. All right, so there is the granite pencil applied with the Smudger One brush. And I just gave myself like a nice kind of blown out thick, but kind of blown out line. And I think it just adds to the smokiness. It's so pretty. All right, I'm just gonna finish off my eye look with a little bit of mascara and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my final look, and I'm sitting here trying to decide whether or not I like this more than the tourmaline palette. I think it's too early to tell, but I really love like this whole neutral family up here. I can imagine me going in and just using these three shades up at the top to do like a complete look, and then these three shades down at the bottom to just amp it up a little bit, make it a little bit more dramatic, make it a little bit more smoky, add a little bit of glamour to it. But so far, I'm really enjoying this color story. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on whether or not this is my favorite now, or if it's still the tourmaline. I have to use it for a little bit longer. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I will have all of the makeup that I have on down below in my description box if you're interested. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.